Hey, that's a pro tip, by the way. Yeah, pro no, tip. I'm taking that one to the bank. Pro tip, man. You definitely go to a tournament, chat your opponent up, man. Talk to him. Try to shake his hand, man. You mm -hmm. shake your hand, man. He might he'd mentally be soft, man. You might be able to beat him. And, like, you're the one doing it, so you're not going to get shook by it. No, nah, you're not shook because you know you're trying to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see there? There you go. He got that. Definitely. Definitely starting off. Wow, he dropped the combo. Israel punished the knee, so. Mm -hmm. Israel definitely knows this character because that string right there was the telltale sign. He ducked the second hit. He knew that even if he blocked the first hit, he could always duck the second. He ducked the second on that, too, and knew to stand back up. Yeah, that's knowledge. That's knowledge right there. And then got him around, man. Yeah, Jedi, uh, Jeff, Jedi's definitely going to have to rethink his strategy. Maybe you're going to have to start seeing if uh, Israel knows something about his low game. See, he's, he's having a lot of success with lows right now. Yeah. There you go. Open him up with the knee now, cause that he opened him up with the knee because he started. To, oh, unblockable helicopter. Push that nice push. He nice push to the wall. Got it with the bad breath, trying to keep him out. <laughs> oh my God, this Yoshi character is crazy. Yeah, like I said, there he start. Pull, he's starting to pull out the unusual moves now, man. See that? That's what I'm talking about, man. Got him, that's man. what I'm talking about. You saw the knowledge of the character that Israel had the first round. Did he start pulling out moves he never seen before, man? Mm -hmm. So I gotta, is that sword disjointed? What's that? Is that sword disjointed? Like, if he hits the sword, does it have a hurt box? Uh, you know. Who knows? Because it's Yoshi Mitsu. It's Yoshi Mitsu. <laughs> Nobody knows that kind of stuff, man. <laughs> I, I doubt the guys that program the character knows that, yeah, man. Yeah, I feel that feel. But I do know he can put his sword up, and yeah. the hitbox is still the same, if not bigger, for the same moves that he has a sword with. Yeah. They're actually bigger without the sword. It makes really? no sense at all. Oh. It, it makes no sense at all. It's, it, it, it's, it's craziness, man. It's madness, man. It, it, it's, it's what happens when the developers probably did acid. <laughs> did so acid and was like, you know what? Let's put this character in and the this game. this is an old character, so... Well, no, it gets redesigned every year. Right? He, yeah, definitely. He definitely gets redesigned. And um, every design gets crazier and weirder. <laughs> but they all... Tekken obviously decided that it's not a Tekken game unless Yosu was in there. He yeah. has to be in the roster. Agreed. See? Perfect example that... Uh, what I was talking about. Look, this matchup, Israel might be familiar with it, might not be familiar with it. But the question comes down to, if you don't know what a character's going to do, you know what you want to do with your character. That's true. That's so true. stop playing defense. Yeah. Because you play defense to punish. Yeah. But if you don't know what you're looking for to punish, how are you going to punish? So you need to be the one. Exactly. So you need to be the one pressing your attack because at least you know what you get. Yeah. Because if not, you're just giving them more and more opportunity to hit you with more and more things you don't know. So get it over with quick. Yeah, that end it match as fast as possible if you want to win. Because you let them hang around, you're going to get hit with unblockables and flipping around and stuff like that. You don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, while man. you're waiting to learn what the, you know. And the sad part about is it advantage. is, most of the time, you're never going to figure it out. Yeah, you only have, this is a, you only have so many rounds. Exactly. Nice 1 1 2. He's going in now, keeping the fight close at the range. One, backing up a little bit. And then afterwards, you can say, hey, let's hit some friendlies. <laughs> yeah, you definitely got to learn now. the game. You definitely got to learn them with the friendlies. But right now, Israel's definitely He's pressing going. the one range. He's trying to sandwich him up against that wall. Yoshi's not doing a bad job right now. He's definitely uh, mixing them up, trying to keep his frames so he can attack off block. He's doing a really good job right now. I like the fizzles in. Oh, yeah, the footsie's really nice. The back and forth between Kazuya that Israel's using. Nice. See, the get different get-up option. Use the low kick off the ground, which yeah. Oblivion Wing should have used. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's always good to see someone follow through with anything. Yeah. Uh, see, he's working a lot of low mid, lot of low mid mix up right now. What I like that what I like from Israel is that he's definitely slowing down on his pace. He's attacking with a solid jab, setting up uh, setting up bigger moves. Yeah. But you know, if you do a jab, just a single jab, you can always block afterwards. So he doesn't know what's coming, so he's definitely blocking. Yeah, it does seem like you know Israel's picking his moves a lot, a lot smarter. Yeah, definitely. As he pushed them off him, trying to keep up so he can see what's going on, chasing them down with electrics. Yeah. For the hoping he'll block him so he can get plus frames off of it. Mm, plus frames again. Definitely going for the twin pistol. I was wondering when that was going to come out. <laughs> you know what's really interesting? Yeah. Is that 
Israel didn't condition him to let him wave dash in front of him at least two times and then attack. Yeah. So I'm wondering when he's going to mix in a, uh, a grab out of wave dash because he's definitely giving him, he's definitely not attacking, yeah. like crouch jabbing, throwing out knee or anything to stop him from uh, coming in on him. So I'm wondering when he's going to use a, uh, a grab mix up out of that. Jesus Christ. Nobody knows what that was. Yeah. Nobody. I mean, that move was big, slow, and it still hit. Yes, he does have a grab out of his helicopter spin in the air stance. Look at him. Look, what, what is he? He's crawling around on swords, man. You talked about stance. He said cheaters. I'm finally seeing him. He's <laughs> cheating, man. Oh, that might. Yep, there it is. Cheating. Wow. Definitely wow. cheating, man. Can you pull out this? Uh, you should. You, you should see the. You should see the smile on Jedi's face, man. He know he stole that like a thief of the night. <laughs> It's not over yet, though. He's going to try and get the rest of this game off yeah. those stances, though. <laughs> if Israel, if, yeah, he definitely is. He's, it does look at that. If Israel was smart, he would just wave dash in and do nothing and yeah. let him walk himself back into the wall because he was definitely going back towards the wall. Yeah. That's a nice punish right there. Nice pickup. Where did the wall come from? The wall messed up that combo. Ooh, this could be it. Oh, and it's a tie game. It's a tie game. See, that's exactly what I was saying. When you don't know what's going on with a character, the more time you give him yeah. to start pressing buttons, the more likely you go to start running into stuff that you don't know that's going to hurt a hell of a lot yeah. <laughs> that he shouldn't be using against you. Yeah, that's what we were saying. He did. He definitely started to slow down. And he, let, he, let his, he let Jedi come in and start dictating the pace. He started pressing more buttons at uh, 1.5. He started doing big slashes. He kept doing... That double stab where the uh, last hit was high yeah. and uh, Israel wasn't ducking in while standing uh, twin piston in that. He can definitely went twin piston that. Actually, a lot of the lows he was getting hit with, Kazuya can while standing twin piston those moves. So, that? yeah, oh, definitely. I know so. So, he, um, so Israel left a lot of damage on the table by being able to let him hit him on a low, hit him with lows. Like, block those type of things he gets like major damage off of that kazuya is one of the characters in the game that you have to be terrified of using a low against because if it's not you're gonna get double pistol. oh yeah you're gonna get that twin pistol you're gonna get that double knuckle sandwich man uh, yeah man okay so i'm gonna see him push man see like right, right now like right now he's he's whipping two hit strings like that that's what i'm looking for mm -hmm. the electric stand back electric to whiff because Israel's uh, Israel's movement good enough now. It's his wave dash game is so it's really good. So he can actually wave dash in and get that electric off. See, like I said before, he's he's, he's, he's doing stuff. He's flying in the air, sitting on the ground, the weird stuff, man. Yeah. He there knows. you go. Good. See that good electric, good electric. He's making them pay for whipping stuff. Now Jedi is gonna have to Jedi if he wants to continue using his stance mix up mm -hmm. craziness he's gonna have to now be more honest go into his stances but not see what I mean about blocking the low twin yeah. pistons double knuckle sandwich to the wall it's gonna hurt. now he pushing up he didn't get the wall but he pushed him to the wall jumping low C come on who sees that who, who who does that look at that look at that air, air grabs and stuff man what's going on man this guy's doing everything he's man. Pulling it out. He's building okay, up his energy. Notice his energy bar li lining up. Yeah. It's, it's going up. So now, see what I mean? That right there, see, that's that kiss of death right there because he knew about that. Ooh, that could have been nasty. I don't know. Oh, random, uh, random super? Oh, my God. Yeah. He got a little desperate. Yeah. He got Jedi got a little desperate. If he would have kept with his uh, shenanigans and tricks but kept him in check, not pressing buttons out of him or fast recovery buttons mm -hmm. out of it, he could have forced Israel to come in and eat counter hits because it was working, and that's how he made his comeback. It was making his